This is the grade three math practice test for T and ready. This is question number nine on this version of the test. Which circle has one eighth of its whole area shaded? Now, when I look at one eighth, the key piece for this question anyway, is that the denominator assumes that the sections are the same size. If I'm just, be only because there's only one shaded in each one. That's a key issue here. You can have one eighth that's made up from a larger group. If you have it broken into sixteenths, then you do two. Um, so if I have two sixteenths and I break it into sixteen parts, it, this will actually reduce to one eighth. You don't really need to know that right now. I'm just saying it's possible. But the reality is, when I look at one eighth, I really need to look for fractions that have the same or parts that have the same size. Otherwise, it's not going to give me the result that I want. I'm also looking for eight total parts. You may remember if you watched the question uh, number eight that the bottom number is the total and this is the part. Well if we just look at the numerator, that's the top number, you'll notice that they all have one done. So we've met the criteria sort of at least theoretically for that one, but the eight total may be a whole other thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa. This one's on the maybe list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is also on the maybe list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Well, that's out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is on the maybe list as well. Now, let's eliminate the maybes to get to the yes. The first thing that we need to do is look to see if they are the same size, because if they're not the same size, the comparison doesn't matter. For instance, if we look at this one, you'll notice the shaded figure here is a lot bigger than the one next to it. I mean, you have this whole additional piece down here that this one doesn't have. This part's cut off. You've lost a lot. This is not the same size as this, so to say it's one-eighth if there's only eight parts, well, the sizes of the parts aren't the same, so that does not work. That's out. Same thing over here. The one that we have is the same size as this one, but once we get to this one, this one's bigger. The middle two are bigger than this one, and this one is significantly smaller. So it doesn't make up one part of eight equal parts if the parts aren't equal size, so that's out. The only one that makes any sense is this uh, value right here. So it's B. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's like a pizza. They have it all cut out. It sort of looks like you may probably have never played. A, there's an old game called Trivial Pursuit. The pieces for that game look like this. But we're going to move this one off the maybe list. And we're going to say that this is our answer of choice. Now, one of the weird things about this is that my brain automatically tells me, because this is B, that it should be C, because I think A, B, C, D. So when I would put it on my um, form, when I would go back and put it on my answer form, I would probably get this question wrong. The reality is I need to be smarter about how I put these things in. I need to look at the value given. It's B. I probably need to write that on my paper if I have the ability to do that. If you have a paper copy, just write the letter B on there because that's the answer that you want. Then when you code it on your answer sheet, it'll be much easier for you. Otherwise, you'll do what I do and miss this question even though you understood how it worked. I mean, I made an entire video about this just now, right? I understand it, but I would still miss it because I would say that this is C because in my head it goes A, B, C, D. That's not how they set it up. Sometimes the hardest part of the getting a question correct is just figuring out how to get your answer to the answer page. So if you need to make a letter on your page to remind you what letter to pick, do that. It's not that much extra time, and it could save you from missing questions that you should easily get correct. So that's it for this one. Again, if you have a fraction, the sections need to be the same size in order for you to make a full comparison of the fraction to the image.